Frag grenade, a bumper sword. Okay. What is a bumper sword? Whatever it is, it doesn't do very much damage. Oh, bumper like as in from a car. Okay, we got to look at this. <laughs> That's awesome, actually. Bumper sword. Yeah, sure. Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on the Tale of Two Wastelands with uh, the Capital Punishment Modulus. I'm the Bearded OG, and you are looking down the barrel of my 308 sniper rifle. Uh, I was on my way uh, to Megaton to sell the stuff that we got from uh, yesterday's episode, and I heard some gunfire. And we have some bandits down here that just killed that Wastelander. Uh, so I figured we'd stop and take him out, get ourselves a little extra stuff to go sell. So, yeah, let's do it. So I am... Uh, Zoomed in as far as this scope will go. We need to hold our breath and he's down. Nice. Okay. Oh, we got caution. Oh, there's somebody else around too. They might not know exactly where. Well, they don't know exactly where we are because we just have caution, not danger. All right. Let's see if we can take them out too. <laughs> that was a torso attack. I thought I was aiming right for the head. I'll take it, though. All right, let's do a little bit of reconnaissance, make sure there's nobody else down there before we head down and grab their loot. All right, let's see. This is the Wastelander they killed. A firebomb. Okay, we'll take all that. This is the guy we took out. The first guy, and then we also took out a second one over here. Right here. Excellent. Oh, there's another raider right there. Did he see us? I think he did. Uh, let's get this out. There's one way over there, too. Uh, this is Kick ass. All right, let's just wait and see. Okay, he's coming right up on us, so... Quit jamming! There we go. Will you just stand still? No, I won't. Come get me. You want to know a secret? I didn't realize this was an automatic shotgun. There you are, you little oh, shit! Good lord, this thing's a beast! Time to die. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, shit! You want to go melee? We can go melee. I got a shish kebab, baby. And you just been shish kebabbed. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Is that everybody? How did I not know that I have an automatic, a fully automatic shotgun? Wow. I mean, I, I think I, I use this just a little bit on the overpass. And I, I, I didn't, I wasn't expecting it to be an automatic shotgun, so I probably just pressed the mouse button once and, you know, didn't hold it down. This thing is amazing. <laughs> wow. Okay. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. We, speaking of shotguns, look at that. We got a nine millimeter submachine gun. We have a single shot. Some more 20 gauge rounds to replace the ones we just shot up and even more. Oh, this is beautiful. Like cha-ching, buddy. Stim pack from you. The fire's still there. Alright, is that all of them? Uh, wasn't there another another one? 
Didn't we kill four, or was it just a three? Uh, okay. Well, that went amazingly well. Oh, yeah, there is another one. I thought maybe there was. Cool. All right, let's head back to Megaton and sell this stuff. Make some more money. Oh, hey. Uh, kind of busy here, but I guess I can... Uh, all right, let's see what you have for sale. What? I want to buy all of your 308s, your armor piercing 308s, your hollow point 308, your 357 magnum rounds, your 20 gauge. I'm going to buy your 40 millimeter grenades and your four missiles because we're going to need those for our super mutant fight. And you don't have a weapon repair kit. That sucks. Okay. All right. Now we're going to sell you a whole bunch of stuff. We're not going to sell you any ammo. We always keep our ammo. But we are going to sell you this Colt pistol, this Mauser. Pipe rifle, the two single shotguns, the antique 9mm shotgun, this lesser repaired grenade rifle. Um, I looted a whole bunch of dynamite. I think I'm going to give that to her. 308 caps. Combat knife, machete, and then all of this armor. Starting with the one that's the most valuable. Sadist armor. Pain spike. Blaster armor. Okay, let's accept that. So, okay, so she's at 191 caps now. Man, that was a profitable little endeavor going to shoot those guys up. For sure. Okay. I'm going to keep this Arclight helmet because it gives us... Or no. The Blastmaster helmet because that gives us explosives which will help when we fight the mutants. I want, I want this one because that one's in the best shape. We'll sell that. Brahmin skin outfit. We'll sell... Ball clap, uh, cap with glasses. And we'll accept. Okay. So she still has 120 caps. And we are walking away with 411 caps and a bunch more armor. Uh, ammo, rather. Not armor. Ammo. Um, especially, you know, like missiles and the grenades that we bought. I wish she had a repair kit's only thing. Um, but she doesn't. Good so. Let's, uh, let's see, what can you repair for us? Can you... Combat shotgun, 1%, one, 1 can you... Oh, you can repair the grenade rifle by 11% for 39 caps. Let's do that. She can repair the missile launcher by 11% for 102 caps. Eh... I think I'm going to do that only because we're going to really be relying upon those weapons for the super mutant fight. Ah, what the hell? Let's repair that for four caps. She can repair this for 21% for 74 caps. Let's do that. And I think that's good. Okay. What do you need? So now she, she has 339 caps which means we can come back later and sell more stuff to her before she resets. Uh, actually, here, you can have... That gives two rads. Yeah, I, I think I'll keep the mutt fruit and probably just eat it. But you can have the rat meat. Okay, good. Don't hurt yourself. Try not to die. I'll try not to. Excellent. Now, I wonder if... It would be worth our while to just have the dock top us off. 
We shouldn't have any issues except for just a few hit points down. Let's take a look at our stats here. Yeah, we have no radiation to speak of. Oh, that's right. We have trail trimmers, which affects our accuracy. No, we don't want that. The rest of the stuff's in pretty good shape. Okay, let's go talk to the doc then. For Christ's sake, you don't look... Um, yeah, get rid of my... Let's see. Trail trimmers. Moderate land. 75 caps. Here. Oh, I guess you're still working on me. Are you done? All better now, you big... Yeah, get back to work. Um, actually... Let's get on! What do you have for sale? Planet... Okay, doesn't... Oh, he's got more immuno boosters. I have... I already have one of those, though. Hmm. You know what? I th uh, I'm gonna buy him. Yeah, let's buy him. We don't have any money left now, but that's okay. We'll get more. Good. Try to be. Okay, so I'm gonna go uh, back home and uh, drop a couple things off, and then we're gonna head north. All right, guys, we are um, just a little bit north of Big Town here, and we're working our way to the Germantown Police HQ uh, to see if we can rescue the doctor for Big Town. And uh, a, a, a quick, a quick note to um, this: the way this game is set up, and I guess the mod list and everything is set up, is it, it's just the game is really dark. And I've had you know a couple of comments about that. And my Pip Boy light is also not particularly bright either. I do have um, HDR settings, and I have the brightness turned quite a you know quite a ways up. And I will also try and, you know, add gamma and editing, but um, it's just kind of, you know, I, I'm a little bit limited with that. So I, I am aware of it, and I'll, I'll do the best I can, but I just wanted to kind of point that out to you. Okay, anyway, uh, we have a dead person here with a Brahmin skin outfit and a slave map. What is that? Um, that's probably going to be under data, miscellaneous, slave map. There is hope. There is a safe place. Find the Temple of the Union where slaves are made into Freeman. Look to the north near Can <coughs> Canterbury. Okay, interesting. Um, we want, yeah, we're, we're actually doing big trouble in big town. Oh, we want to keep uh, our eyes peeled for a substation too with some fuses, which is supposed to be to the northwest of uh, of the garage. So we're, we're kind of more almost due north of the garage at this point. Did we? Oh, what the hell? Oh, it's just a blowfly. I'm going. Goodness. Okay, let's get this out. Alright. I don't think we actually went across this bridge. So let's keep our eyes peeled for landmines and traps. Because we kind of went around that way. That I think that's... Oh, I actually had it. Arafu. So Arafu's that way somewhere. Kind of to the northwest a little bit anyways. All right. I see... What appears to be a super mutant and a centaur, I think. Yeah, all right. So, how close are we to... Yeah, we have a ways to go. I kind of don't want to waste ammo on them at this point. I want to save it for the actual encounter. So we might try and skirt around those guys. I think that's what we'll do. All right, so let's go this way. Oh, there's more. 
Shit. Uh, oh, wait, are the... Uh, are those the same two, or is that a different pair? It's a different pair. Damn. All right, um, let's go. I wish that texture flick flickering thing didn't happen. Let's see if we can go around this way then. Because here again, I don't want to mess with them right now. We don't have to. I, I'm anticipating this fight in Germantown to be pretty significant, so we need to save all of our ammo and our health and our wellness <laughs> for that fight. So... Let's just see if we can skirt around them. Oh, caution. I'm gonna tear you up. All right. Yeah. Got a bandit. That's somebody else. Where's that other guy at? What the fuck's going on now? Oh shit, we got the centaur's attention. Are we take we're taking fire from multiple locations here? Okay, we need to change. Is it? Oh shit, it's the super mutant. Okay. We need to change to armor piercing for him. Oh. It hurt. Yeah, it hurt. All right, we're out of armor piercing for this weapon. Let's switch to our repeater. And no, we don't want hollow points. Oh, I guess I don't have armor piercing for this. Fuck. All right. Got him. Jesus, man. That Kinda of beat the shit out of us, didn't it? Okay, well, um let's see what we got here. Just Oh, a bunch of frag mines. Okay, that's wonderful. 12 gauge rounds. Scrap metal, duct tape. There's a lot of shit here. You know what? I'm just going to take it all because we're going to stop off at Seneca Station anyways and sell what we can to the to the robotic uh, vendor guy. <clears throat> okay, so can't open an easy box. I will be putting more points into lock picking. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Okay, so we're kind of hurt. Actually, no, we're not kind of hurt. We are hurt, hurt. So what kind of food do I have that heals? None. Okay, let's go to aid then. Let's take an antiseptic and a bandage. And let's do a blood pack too. Are we okay limb-wise? Yeah, our head's kind of hurt, but we're not in... We're not in the worst of shape.
Okay. As disgusting as this is, thinking about sleeping. Oh, you know what? Yeah. I was thinking it was 8.30 in the morning, but I think it was 8.30 at night. Let's go loot. Oh, we already looted you. Okay. And I think I looted the centaur as well. Anything down here? Watch for landmines. There's all kinds of good stuff down here, including stem packs. Very nice. Oh my goodness, look at all this stuff. <laughs> we're just taking it all. Because we're going to sell it. I mean, we're already encumbered now anyway, so it doesn't even fucking matter. Just going to have a little bit of a slow walk to get to the vendor. Anything out here? Not that I can see. Okay, so we're going to take this mattress and flip it over so we're not sleeping on the bloody side, and then we're going to sleep. And we're going to sleep until, let's do 5.30 a.m. It'll still be a little dark out, but it'll be starting to get light at that point. I think. All right, so we need to go. We could go to the Moresti train yard, which is really close, and just go underground to Seneca. Then we would avoid any encounters. I think I'm going to do that only because, again, I don't want to waste all of our ammo and stuff before we do the main fight. Of course, we're going to be able to buy some more ammo now since we got all this stuff but even so i'm going to go through the the underground path uh to get to that vendor so i will see you guys there i'll keep the camera rolling in case something crazy happens but i've already cleared this place so i'm not expecting any any issues in regards to that oh we got mirelark repop son of a bitch That's bullshit, man. We already killed them all. <laughs> Damn it, Jim. Ugh. Okay. Well, in that case, let's just go overland. I was not expecting that. Obviously. Mole rats over there. Field of view. You guys gonna come after me or what? Lord Death, kill anything. Wow, look at that place. An ice cream. Guy with an ice cream. I don't remember that from the last time I played, but there's a lot of things I don't remember. <laughs> some things I do, some things I don't. Okay. What? What's going on? Glad that's over. Did you guys sh kill another Mirelurk? What? I thought that guy was already dead. You got the stuff. I got the caps. The you want? Made in heaven. You want like sugar bombs, right? I don't think I have any sugar bombs. 
So I'll bring some more to you later when I get them. How'd that person get there? May, they may have been there already. Okay, let's go ahead and offload some of this stuff. First thing we want to do is put on our trader outfit. Step forward and identify you. I am OG. Let's see what you have. Me oh, nice. He's got 500 caps. That's beautiful. Okay. So, we're going to sell all this liquid nitrogen. The darts, the nails... Uh, the varmint rifle, the pipe rifle, this assault rifle that we pulled off of that mutie. Okay, I think that's it for guns. The knife, the bat, pain spike, sadist, sadist, glass master helmet, ramen skin outfit, pre-war money, and all of the junk stuff. Okay, let's accept that. Okay, good. That gets us 214 caps and gives him 300. And lightens us back up, too. Um, we're already pretty damn heavy because I'm carrying like 10 grenades and 16 missiles. Okay, now, I want to buy all of your 357 rounds. I want to buy all your 556s, your armor piercing uh, 556s. I don't think I want hollow points. He only has one armor piercing round. That sucks. Okay, how many 20 gauge do I have? I've got 57. That's pretty good. I wonder what a pulse slug does. Is that like a pulse grenade kind of idea? I'm not sure. Let's just buy all his 20 gauge. I want, oh, he's got four weapon repair kits. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, you know what? It's good to know that he, he continues to stock this armor. That, that's amazing. Okay, I love it. Uh, all right, so let's... Um, Uh-oh. We don't have enough caps to buy all of this. Is there something else I can sell to him? Uh, you know, th th this lasts a long time durability-wise, too, which is amazing. Um... I at this point, I mean, I guess I could sell him the stuff we're not using, ammo-wise. I don't, normally don't do that because I like to keep the, that stuff for making ammo, but... forty. How much would 48 12-gauge rounds do? Okay. Because we're not using 12-gauges at the moment. Okay, let's accept that. And I think we're good. Yeah, but it's really good to know that he restocks this armor. This armor is good, and the helmet, too, for that matter. And it looks like he restocks four repair kits. Closing dialogue system. Now, let's go here. Let's put this back on. Uh, we're in really good shape on our combat armor. Besides, we can't repair that anyways because we have weapon repair kits. Uh, the marine carbine is probably the one that is the needing the most repair. I'm not... This is kind of a backup weapon at this point because we have the cowboy repeater now. We could probably stand to repair those a bit too. Sniper rifle's not terrible. So let's... Let's give that... Two repairs. Let's give this a repair. Because we're going to be using it quite a bit. And probably the combat shotgun. Or, I mean, I guess, well, the grenade rifle's not in that bad of shape, actually. So yeah, let's repair the combat shotgun. Good. Now we're ready to go take on the super mutants. Well, at least I think we are. Oh, we got a dog. Out of my face. Alright guys, um, I will meet you back up at Germantown. 
I'll keep the camera rolling as usual in case something crazy happens, but hopefully we can get up there without too much difficulty. We need, uh, we need to go back this way. Okay, we are here. And uh, the goal here is to rescue the doctor that the super mutants kidnapped from Big Town. Hopefully, she's still alive. And I... This very much looks like a place that's going to have landmines all over the place. So, we're, ooh. Uh, Germantown Police Headquarters. Oh! Okay, that's not directed at us. Okay, let's just kind of stay stealthy here. I'm gonna move. Who found me? Oh shit! All right, so the guy inside of there with a laser pistol or a weapon. That weapons fire that we're hearing might just be a random encounter. I knew it! Oh, I'm oh shit! Tear you apart. All right, what we're gonna do with this guy is we're going to let's give him let's give him a grenade to think about. right there. Nice try. All right, that softened him up pretty damn good. Um... Do I have armor-piercing 10 millimeter ammo? I, I have one. <laughs> okay. Well, that didn't do a whole lot of good, did it? All right. Well, then we're just gonna um, let's just use our carbine to finish. Uh, well. Yeah, no, let's use our combat shotgun to finish him off. Jesus criminy! That was a waste of shotgun shells. Microfuse. Oh, we got a laser rifle. Cool. I should have known better not to use a shotgun with nor at least with normal pellets on him. That was kind of stupid on my part. Oh shit, here comes another one. All right, here. Let's uh, let's get back to this. You know what? We need some aid. Um, is our head? Oh shit! Okay. Um, let's go to. Excuse me. Um, aid, and we want to apply a splint to our... No, we can't put a splint on our head. That's right. We have no... I don't think we can do anything. We don't, we don't have a doctor's kit. Ultra stim. Oh, my God. Look at that. I wonder how long that lasts. 
I was doing an antiseptic and a bandage and just a normal stim pack. You die now, human. <laughs> Sucks that our head's all messed up. I think that hurt us too. <laughs> it did. We were a little close there. We were a little close there too. All right. I'm not doing so good. Let's apply a splint to our arm. And another stim pack and another bandage. There's a protrect pro tech to oh shit. Dude. Okay, what's going on down here? can't even see now. Fuck. Uh, I think that's... I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a traitor. Alright, let's go... Go talk to them really quick. They killed that centaur. Okay, nice. Welcome, sir or not. Okay, uh, can you? Re uh, what's your repair? Okay. Fifty. That's not terrible. Uh, for twelve caps, yeah. Let's have him repair that. Okay. Um, here to buy. Nothing. Nothing but the highest because quality, that's what you leftovers, do junk, when you're in the middle of combat with super mutants is you stop, talk to a vendor, and buy and sell stuff before you continue the battle. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this buy is 10 millimeters. Oh, wait a second. Cancel transaction. Nothing. Nothing but the highest quality leftovers, I don't have any caps. junk, and crap. We're going to have to sell some stuff. Okay, let's just sell all of this stuff. I'm going to actually keep the Mirelurk meat. Because we can make that steamed Mirelurk, which is pretty good stuff. I'm going to sell the laser rifle because I'm just I'm not really specced into that sort of thing. So really all we have to sell. Okay, except that. That gives us 55 caps. Which isn't going to buy us a whole lot. Any chance you have a weapon repair kit? He does not. He's got... S yeah, nah. Alright, let's just buy this... As much of this as we can. Okay, we still have 21 caps. Let's buy all of those. And that's all we can do. Another satisfied customer. Uh, what, tell me about I your caravan. I scour the caravan. wasteland for the very best pieces of trash, the height of detritus, and the veritable pick of the litter. It's all valuable to someone. That's very and true. And I always make sure to make my rounds through Canterbury Commons. Their mayor, Roe, always has a place for a clever junk man like myself. Hmm, okay. I smell a new quest coming on. See you out on the road, huh? All right, take care. God, uh, we can't see shit. Okay, so he was the one, obviously, I think, well, not obviously, but I think that was in the firefight earlier. We have another centaur up on the road here. Is that not hitting him? Oh, I guess it was. It just wasn't doing major damage. He's spitting something at us. Got him. I don't have anything to loot, eh? All right, let's go to aid, antiseptic, and another bandage.
What's that noise? Oh, that was the noise of me bandaging myself. <laughs> oh, that's the one we killed. Okay, never mind. Guess we never looted him. All right, I want to get my um, grenade rifle back out and just make sure that it's ready to go. We have f five more grenades, and then after that, we'll have to switch to our missile launcher. I think I see a mutie right here. No, I don't. I just see one of their blood bags. What's that noise? I see, uh, I see laser fire. Oh, it's that prote protectron. I really have to think about that word because it's a tongue twister. Protect Tron shooting at some kind of wildlife. Okay. Protect Tron. Say that three times really fast. Protect Tron. Protect. Forget it. This looks like a gauntlet if I've ever seen one. Um. Might help if we turn the light on. Not my. Not by much. I'm just looking to see if there's any landmines through here. maze. Okay. Oh, I hate head injuries. So, have we eliminated all the guys on the outside? Please tell me you have a doctor's bag in here. No, but you got a combat stim. That's pretty good stuff. Uh, those binoculars are worth a lot. I'm going to take them. Hey, there's a doctor's bag. Can I use it, though? Yes. Nice. Okay. That should take care of our head injury after the current blurriness wears off. Phew. Okay, that was a good. That was a good find. Let, let's just make sure. Yep, our head's good. I mean, it's not in the best of shape, but it's at least it's not completely bonkers at the moment. I'm going to take the bottle caps. You can have your mutilated torso. Okay, we're going to have some reading to do here. Um, if I didn't already tell you guys this, if you don't want to listen to me read through all these logs, just fast forward the video to the action resume. Some of you like this, some of you don't care for it. So, I'm going to read it. Okay. Log entry one. We were mobilized in the early evening. My security clearance isn't high enough to know this on an official level, but I have it on good authority that we're under threat of a Chinese attack. I don't dare to share this with the girls. Most of them are a solid sort, but I can't trust that some won't desert to try and protect themselves or their families and wind up spreading panic, especially on flimsy rumors based on flimsier intelligence from DOD. We haven't been deb deb debriefed yet, but it's probably safe to assume we'll be on an evacuation detail in the rural areas. Our unit scored somewhat poorly in the last round of drills, and the high flyers always get the urban details. We'll be stuck herding farmers and hermits in the hills. This is Nancy Croydon, presiding officer of the National Catastrophe Relief Auxiliary Response Unit. Okay. 
Log entry two. This can't have happened. We don't even know if it was the Chinese, but DC was hit. My God, Andrea's unit was on evac detail right on the belt loop. Dear God, more bombs. What's happening? Our unit has been assigned to a National Guard detachment. They drove all night from Pennsylvania. We're doing our best to keep the survivors placated while these boys get their strength up. The looting gets worse every day and it's a small town. There can't be much left and there's already one scuffle at the canteen. These guardsmen arrived just in time, I fear. Okay. Log entry four. Dolores and Rebecca deserted in the night. They had the goodness not to rob us blind on our way out. Uh, on her way out? How about on their way out? I had trusted Becky with the keys to the canteen and the artesian well. Ooh. Is that here? Artesian well? That probably means fresh water. Uh, we locked up on day one. Several of our survivors were talking rubbish about seeking refuge in a nearby vault. The girls must have decided to go with them. Damned fools. If anybody made it into those things in time, they bloody well aren't letting any of us in now. I suppose I should just be glad we have a few less mouths to feed. Hmm. Okay. Uh, log entry five. I took the NCO's advice and set up a quarantine for the worst of the radiation victims. We know better than to to think they're contagious, but most of our survivors don't, and it helps keep them calm. We also have an easier time smuggling the bodies out at night. It's not so much that people die, it's how they look when they go. They all think they, they'll they just lose a bit of hair and maybe get a rash. It gets so much worse than that. We're low on Prussian blue. Most of them don't know what that really means, for which I'm thankful. One of the local doctors in our camp knows about a cancer treatment facility not too far from here. We're spending some of the guardsmen, are sending some of the guardsmen out to investigate. If they can recover any Phil Gra Grastum, Phil Grastum? Uh, we might be able to stave off widespread radiation sickness a little longer. Phil Grastum. Okay, new word. These days I feel like more of a preacher than a nurse. We've lost hope that the reservists will be back. I can only hope they died with some scrap of honor and didn't abandon us. Without medication, people are succumbing to radiation sickness, for which there is no hope of treatment. We can do nothing more than make our patients comfortable as we wait to the end. When the, as we await the end, when the painkillers and whiskey run out, prayer is all we can offer them. I've taken to wearing a head wrap. I don't want them to see how much of my own hair has fallen out. I suppose it seems only right to say goodbye. I have to know it's hopeless. But maybe one of my sisters is still out there and I couldn't go without leaving some kind of farewell. Just know that I did everything I could. I tried and I only wish that I could be the last to go so I could have helped all the others before they met their own end. Okay, so yeah, that gives us a little bit of backstory of the horror of the nuclear war. Very interesting. We have some beds we could sleep on. At least they don't have blood. They have skeletons, but they don't have blood. We'll take the nine millimeters, but we'll leave them mutilated. That'll be our MO for those things. Okay. More beds. And just more beds. Okay. Let's take a look in this tent. There's nothing in here. All right, so... Do we go... Okay, yeah, it looks like there's a doorway there. Before we go in, I just want to make sure we have searched the entire perimeter. Yeah, well, we, we already came around that way, so... Nothing in those trash bins. Germantown Police Headquarters. Oh, there's one of those fast travel mole hole thingies. I don't really see anything over there, so I think we're... We're good to go into the headquarters now. Let's have our grenade launcher ready to go. Oh! That's locked. Okay. That means we need to find an alternate way in. 
It's one of those enclave robots. Here we go. Oh shit! Don't no, run. Okay, we can't use we can't use this at such close range. Um, and I can't get away from him here. Let's actually do this. No, not that. Hit that button. Now we can sprint. Okay. We just got to get away from him far enough to use this. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, because this is modded, at, well, I don't know how much it has to do with being modded or if it's the game, but it, the keyboard shortcuts is... it. You know, for sprinting and walking, or they're kind of weird. You have to press two buttons, and it's just not intuitive. And that's why I kind of get finger tied when this kind of thing happens. All right. Well, hey, we had a premonition that there might be <laughs> a super mutant to rabbit quarter there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some landmines to help help us along here all right so let's go here Grab the frag mine yes you did okay here let's grab uh, where is it grenade rifle Okay. Come around the corner. Step on. Uh, what the fuck? What? Is somebody throwing grenades at me? <laughs> we had two premonitions that uh, there are multiple enemies up ahead and we need to be really careful. Or has that guy just been throwing grenades at us? I, I can't tell. Okay, I'm going to actually put it here. I think what we'll do is we'll retreat back through here after we get his attention. There he is right there. Can we also... What does a f firebomb do? Oh... That's kind of like a Molotov, I guess. Okay, let's just frag him. Okay. Now, come around this corner. Get back here. Get this out. Oh, no, 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 not that. This. Okay, we've definitely softened him up. Oh, there we go. Okay. Nice. A grenade and two frag mines got him. Frag grenade, a bumper sword. Okay. What is a bumper sword? Whatever it is, it doesn't do very much damage. Oh, bumper like as in from a car. Okay, we got to look at this. <laughs> That's awesome, actually. Bumper sword. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. That's funny. I think it's funny. How much? This is, uh, it's worth 19 caps, but it's heavy as fuck. Yeah, I'm not, it's too heavy. Too heavy for us to be carrying around. Hopefully we can get in through this door. Yeah, it's not locked. Let's get our um, grenade rifle ready. And here we go.
All right, so we were able to get in the door without getting attacked. Now which way do we go? We have a terminal over here which might give us information and or unlock something. Watch for landmines, yo. Fuck. Nope, we're not high enough. Okay, impound. That must open the jail cell doors that are probably holding the captives. Okay, yeah, we really gotta watch the floor. Bandage is worn off. Let's do... Let's take a couple expired stim packs and maybe another bandage. Okay, let's go back around this way. We need to get more. I know, but we got through here still okay the female is locked up we'll take her back with us the tiny male is downstairs <laughs> he won't be coming with us will he <laughs> nope <laughs> we almost got all those little people from big town huh but then, find more somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, those bleeders are everywhere. Okay, watch for landmines. Take them all. Take them home. Home. We need more prisoners before okay. we can go home. We'll go back and get more. Let's go back to our grenade rifle. Now, oh, you know what else I should be doing? Um, well, maybe. This gives us explosives plus 10. What do you want? Have you found green stuff? I haven't found any. Ever. Maybe it's a lie. Maybe we're wasting our time. Could be out killing. Um, well, uh, sure. Okay, uh, I need to figure out how to get their attention. Ah! I'm going back to do it! What I was doing! Okay, is so he just gonna come out of the room? Okay, so he said. He said the the woman, which I'm assuming is the doctor, is locked up, so that means she's still alive. And then there was also a man somewhere too that don't rem don't know what his status was. All right, there he is, right there. Let's do this. Let's get, um, that out. Something there. No more game. Time to die. Okay. Is he going to... I'm hearing stuff. Oh, <laughs> you're hearing stuff? You heard an explosion and then you're just hearing stuff. All right, we killed one of them. Let's go back down and... Oh! Did that ignite that frag mine too? I guess it did. The one that I had put down there. Okay, we'll take all of that. There's a... I think there's another one though. 
game's over! Okay, step around the corner. <laughs> 